Hey everybody, Mr. Marshall here. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week of distance learning. Uh, I hope you guys took some time and practiced the water glass scale from last week. It's pretty fun. If you haven't checked it out, look on my website or on my YouTube channel and you can do the pentatonic scale with water glasses um, from the comfort of your own home. Another fun activity you can do from home is making your own guitar out of a cereal box. Some of you might have done this before. All right guys, step number one to becoming a rock star with your own cereal box guitar is you gotta take your cereal box and close it up and start, wait, I forgot a step. All right guys, so the first thing you do after you eat your cereal and you have your box ready, is you take your box and you close up the top of it. Another it fun activity you can do so that you can is seal it up your own so it's nice and sturdy. A cereal box. Some of you might have done this before. Just get one piece on each end. Maybe one in the middle just to make sure it's tight, just like that. All right guys, next you're going to take your box and you're going to take a cup, I'm using a coffee cup, and you're going to take it so that we can trace a circle for the sound hole for our guitar. So you want to put it in the middle and then slide it down just a little bit lower than the middle, kind of right there. Then you'll take your pen and just carefully trace around the circle so that we know where to cut out our sound hole. Now boys and girls, cutting out the sound hole could be a little bit tricky. So you might wanna get an adult to help you do this or maybe an older brother or, or sister. And basically you're just gonna take your scissors and you're gonna poke a hole somewhere where you drew your circle. And then you're just gonna cut out the sound hole. Alright, next we're going to take the circle that we cut out and we're going to cut it in half. And we're going to do that because we're going to use this to make our bridge. That's the part of the guitar where the strings attach to the body of the guitar. And we need to kind of raise it up a little bit so the strings are able to vibrate properly. So once you have a piece like this, you just kind of bend it in half to make it look like this. Then you take the other part and you put it right against the part that you just folded so it looks like this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna tape those together, give it a little height on it. So right there, we're gonna tape this together. So now I have a bridge that I can use to connect the strings to the guitar. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the bridge that I just made and I'm gonna put it right by the sound hole towards the bottom of the, the cereal box there. So the bridge kind of sticks over the sound hole just a little bit is okay. And then we're gonna tape that down to the cereal box. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our paper towel roll or if you've taped together some toilet paper rolls, that works too. And this will be the neck of our cereal box guitar. So we're going to have to cut a little hole to be able to put that there and then tape it together so it stays. So when I cut mine out, I left a little flap right here so that I can use that to tape the, the roll, the, the neck to the guitar. So this is where duct tape is really helpful because it, it can hold it pretty good. That one right there. I'll put 
this one around it. There. All right, now that we have the body of the guitar and the neck attached to it, and we have our little bridge that we made, it's time to put the strings on. Okay, you're just gonna take your rubber bands and you're gonna carefully put them across the length of the cereal box. Now you might have to adjust a little bit. If you have little pieces of cardboard that are kind of coming up from, the, from where you cut into the sound hole, just make sure that you push them down so they're not touching the string. And also you can bend the bridge up just a little bit so it's holding the string up. So we'll put that string on, then we'll put this one on. So I put two strings on my cereal box guitar and I immediately noticed I have a little problem. You might have the same problem. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. My strings aren't really vibrating too good because the cereal box is too close. It's pushing up against the strings. So if I press it down and, and try to vibrate the string, sounds a lot better, right? So I'm gonna take a piece of tape and try to make this part of the, the cereal box lower. And I'll show you how to do that. So as you can see, I took some tape and tried to bring the, the cereal box part down lower so that this doesn't get in the way of the string from vibrating. Now if that still is giving you a problem, another way to fix that is take a pencil and just kind of put it up underneath the rubber bands towards the top and that will raise them high enough to where the rubber band will vibrate. Sounds pretty good. So we know that when you vibrate something, it makes a sound, right? And these rubber bands are vibrating. And the sound waves are being created because of the length of the rubber band and also the tightness of it. So if I change the size of the, the string or the rubber band by pressing it down right on the cereal box, just like I would on a guitar on the fretboard, I'm changing the size of the string. So let's see what happens to the pitch. It gets higher because now the string is not this long, it's from my finger to the end. So the shorter you make the string, the higher the pitch. The longer the string, the lower the pitch. And that's because a longer string vibrates slower, so it creates low frequency sound waves. And a higher string, it's pretty tight, it vibrates at a faster rate, so the frequency and the pitch is higher. All right, now let's have some fun. Let's see if I can come up with some different notes and maybe play a little tune. Ooh, I like that. Let's try this. Ooh, I almost had it. All right, guys, I hope you all have fun making your own rock and roll cereal box guitar. Some of you might want to decorate it too. That'd be a cool idea. Um, if you make a good one and you want to show me, take a picture of it, take a little video, send it to me. I'd love to see them. Have a great week. Have fun, guys. Kitchen.